Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in my creative space today. My name is Lee Edward Clothing and I'm the author of books for young people. My latest books are The Books of Zune, The Secret of Zune, and The Follow-Up, which just came out a couple of months ago, The Guardians of Zune. They are fantasy books and that is what I love to write. My books are full of all of the things we love to find in that genre. So mysterious doorways, magical keys, I have portal pirates, which you can think of as steampunk sort of pirates, uh, mysterious creatures and wizards and all of those sorts of things. But I don't want to spend too much time talking about my own books today. What I'd rather talk about is perhaps your own writing, your own creativity. You see, when I was younger, your age, I really wanted to be a writer. And it was my, I suppose I would just admit it was my lifelong dream. And I was quite impatient with that. And uh, I learned a lot of lessons along the way. And I want to kind of impart some of my uh, learned lessons to you. So I don't know if this has ever happened to you. Perhaps you're walking down the street. You're a creative person and you're walking down the street and you're struck by this idea. And you think it's the best idea ever. You're overwhelmed by how great this idea is. And you find yourself ballooning, swelling with energy and you rush home. And uh, if you're a writer, you're going to rush home to your computer. And you're going to start pounding on those keys. And at first everything's going well, but then slowly it slows down, Every, right? It slows down and everyone's, you're thinking, hmm, what happened to my wonderful idea? It's not gushing out of me anymore. You can literally feel the inspiration evaporating before your very eyes. That's happened to me so many times and I bet it rings true for some of you. When I was younger, that happened all the time and I used to think, hey, I guess my original idea really wasn't that good. And so I'll discard that idea. But as I've gotten older, I realized it's not the problem with the idea, it's the problem with my process. And I was rushing the process. So now I tend to think of writing as happening in stages. And I don't know, I guess you could say stage one is boom, inspiration, great. Uh, stage two for me is now called development, I guess. So that is when instead of rushing home to my computer, I rush home to my notebook or knowing me, I already had it in my hand anyway, because it tends to go with me a lot of places. And I start jotting down my ideas and I start um, making doodles. I'm a very visual person, so I start making doodles of different characters or maybe different magical objects, um, different um, sort of creatures and things like that. So I'm just gonna spend a lot of time in this notebook, weeks, maybe even months, sorting out those ideas. And I've become very patient with that process. Once I feel like I've developed my ideas, to the point where I'm quite comfortable with, then I will sit down on my computer and I'll start uh, developing scene outlines and then perhaps actually even writing the, book, the manuscript. But I've become so much more patient with the process. And for me, writing is just so much more than playing with those words. It is the pictures and it is doing other things like building props. You can see I'm surrounded by many props. It's another technique I use to try and uh, I guess craft better ideas, especially as a fantasy author, I'm trying to find and create and invent objects that are more unique perhaps, or quite distinctive from other things that have been created. And one of the techniques I use for that is building them. So I've built so many things to help inspire my own writing and to help bring my own books to life. So uh, for example, something like a dragon scale, or in the case of Zune, which is all about travelers and suitcases. I tend to build a lot of character kits. So um, thinking about what a character might pack in his or her suitcase and take on a journey. Not only does it help me think about character in a different way, it's also just really good thinking time. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been sitting there at your keyboard and you feeling like you have a lack of inspiration and you're just kind of absentmindedly tapping the space bar key. And I find that when that happens to me, that's a sign to me that I need to get away from my screen and go do something else like build a dragon egg. And it becomes a lot more productive for me. So I don't tend to have writer's block. I tend to have creative blocks in terms of being frustrated with, I have lots of ideas. The problem is always making those ideas come to life in the best way on the page or knowing which idea to pursue in terms of a plot. Plot is, uh, plot is the most difficult writing aspect of writing for me. So I tend to work out a lot of my plots or a lot of those kind of problem plot problems I have in my brain by building things. And the other thing I realized as I got older, I always loved to build things as a kid, but I didn't realize it was connected to my storytelling or to 
my writing. And now I realize that, you know, I have cross creativity, um, something um, that I think is unrelated to writing uh, ends up being related or it inspires a new idea that takes me in a different direction. So I'm trying to use all the tools I have in my personal creative toolkit to try and bring my writing to life. So I guess that would be my main kind of advice. Uh, if I could go back in time to my younger self, it would be slow down, be patient, enjoy the process. And the process doesn't have to be uh, boring. The process can be fun because it can include building and drawing. And I guess the other piece of advice I would have given myself is don't worry so much right away about the end product. When I was a younger person, I really was fascinated with this idea of being published or um, uh, producing something that would be, I don't know if famous would be, but celebrated maybe. And because of that, I wasn't taking time with the process. And now I realize that there's so much value in exploring the process. And even if you try something, uh, building something, writing something, drawing something, and it doesn't turn out the way you imagine it to be, doesn't mean it's a failure. You might have learned something. And those little building blocks of learning is what turns us into an overall better creative. And for me as a creative person, that is what I'm always trying to do is to build up my better creativity. So I hope you find my little uh, nuggets of wisdom helpful. Uh, I really hope all of the young people in BC are staying safe and staying creative. And hey, if you're bored, go out and make a dragon egg and write a story.